You know, seeing these incredible Arctic landscapes really takes me back to my childhood. Like a lot of kids, I was obsessed with Superman growing up. But my favorite Superman stories were always the ones involving the Fortress of Solitude. There was just something so awe-inspiring about this remote, crystalline sanctuary located in the farthest reaches of the Arctic. As a wide-eyed kid, I'd imagine the fortress as this almost magical, otherworldly place, equal parts ice palace and high-tech superhero lair. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the very first set photos from James Gunn's highly anticipated Superman movie. These pics have given us our first glimpse at the snowy, Arctic setting where at least part of the film will take place. As a huge Superman fan, I'm super excited to break down what we can learn from these early set shots. So, strap in, put on your warmest parka, and let's dive into the icy world of the new Superman flick. For those who may not know, James Gunn is the new co-CEO of DC Studios and is helming their fresh take on the iconic Superman character. The movie, simply titled Superman, will star David Korenswit as the Man of Steel. It's part of Gunn's rebooted DC Universe slate, ushering in a new cinematic era for DC properties under his guidance. Joining Corin Sweet are stars like Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane and Nicholas Holt in an undisclosed role. Not much is known yet about the specific plot points, but we do know at least some of it will revolve around Superman's fortress of solitude in the Arctic region. Okay, let's really dig into what these first set picks are showing us. The on-location filming is taking place in the remote Svalbard Islands of Norway, we see a breathtaking snow-covered mountainous landscape that looks perfectly suited for the frosty fortress setting. There are wind machines set up, presumably to simulate arctic gusts and enhance that bone-chilling atmosphere. We also spy various film production materials and trucks scattered around the site. What immediately stands out is just how vast, desolate, and hauntingly beautiful this frozen environment appears. It has an almost alien, otherworldly quality that seems ideal for depicting Superman's iconic icy hideaway. Gunn himself called it a varied landscape, you won't find anywhere else that gives off a special feeling. I totally agree these locations look stunning and really help sell the isolation and mystery surrounding the Fortress of Solitude. From what we can gather, these scenes being filmed will likely depict Superman first arriving at or retreating to the fortress early on in the movie's story. I love that Gunn is really leaning into the unique, imposing Arctic setting right off the bat. The visuals we're getting have such a powerful, almost mythic presence that instantly elevates the material. You can't help but get a sense of grandeur and importance befitting an iconic character like the Man of Tomorrow. At the same time, I'm a bit worried that if too much time is spent lingering on these frozen vistas, it could start feeling like a slog or make the film's pacing drag. But I have faith in Gunn's proven ability to balance spectacle with strong character work and storytelling. I'm definitely intrigued to see how he'll blend the Frosty Fortress sequences with the rest of Superman's world and adventures in this new cinematic universe he's building. Maybe... Some of those staple heroes or villains could show up at the Ice Fortress for an epic superhero battle amidst the tundra? One can dream. Those are my takeaways from our very first look at Gun Superman movie. Even with just these early set picks, I'm super hyped by the tundra-drenched cosmic vibes we're getting from the Fortress of Solitude scenes. This snowy setting has me optimistic that Gun's take on the big blue boy scout will capture the grand mythological spirit of Superman while still feeling new and innovative. I can't wait for more reveals as this film keeps soaring closer to its 2025 release. Let me know your own thoughts on these fortress filming locations down in the comments. Are you as psyched as I am for Gun to re-envision Superman's chilly Arctic headquarters on the big screen? Or are you hoping for something totally different? 